On Monday, the Robinson Ballroom at UNG was packed as the Multicultural Student Affairs hosted special guest speaker Dr. Tommy Smith, United States track and field gold medal Olympian, who was famous for his stand against racial inequality in the 1968 Olympic Games, which took place at the height of the Civil Rights Movement. Dr. Smith was invited on campus to deliver a speech in honor of Black History Month. Here are some of the highlights from his lecture. 1968, at the 19th Olympiad in Mexico City, that our Olympic platform birth became our historical stand of silence. Mexico City was my blessing to make a silent gesture heard around the world, a cry for constitutional and humane deliverance. And I still believe that standing for social justice anytime, anytime is redemptive and the sacrifice en route to that is no greater than those who perish on the historical path of hope fighting for justice. Tommy Smith is often used as a comparison to Colin Kaepernick, the former 49ers quarterback who caused controversy by kneeling during the national anthem on several occasions. Dr. Smith gave his thoughts on the comparison. I feel gratified in young people taking a stand, but he took a knee. I took a stand. I was shot at, cut, beat up, talked about, almost starved to death, slept on the floor without covers, holding 11 war records. I was banned from competition for the rest of my life because I stood up for against inequality on platform. Following the lecture, Smith signed autographs and posts for pictures for those who attended. I spoke to Dr. Robinson, the director of the Multicultural Student Affairs, about the event. Dr. Smith made a very significant sacrifice in his early 20s, the same age as many of these college students, to make a stand about social justice, to talk about poverty, that people are struggling in America. And so he chose at a very young age to use his voice. And what we hope I also got an exclusive interview with Tommy Smith himself and asked him what he felt during that historical moment in 1968. Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> the head bowed and the uh, prayer being uh, said and the raised fist and the national anthem. And I was ROTC, loved the Army. And I was there thinking about, oh, after this, I'm going to serve my country. I'm going to do some things that's going to really make me feel better, better than I do now. I was a very passionate, patriotic type person, but this needed doing because I had a charge. Um, do you think that the civil rights movement has, are you pleased with the progression it's made? Are you still thinking that we have a really long way to go? We always have a ways to go. You can call it long if you want to, but we always have a long way to go. When people start believing that it's over, uh, there's no more work, then they do not have an insight of, 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 of uh, humanity or of history. Work is never done as long as you're living. Do not forget overcoming is not a dead issue. And hope should never be thrown away as something that's in the past. You keep moving forward. You keep going to school. This is Caroline Coleman reporting on campus, Vanguard News.